It's the brilliant Francesco Mazze. Great Hi. to have on the show. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Now, this is uh, like a uh, seafood. Traditional seafood. Yeah. seafood. South, it, south of Italy? Uh, Sardinia, I will say. Yeah? Sardinia. Right. Is, we've got this amazing stuff called uh, fregola here, which is basically... This is fregola. Fregola. It's basically uh, semola, with, uh, which is toast a bit, you know, right, and then okay. uh, we use some of this kind of lovely soup. It's also very good for salad. And so I've got some lovely are, seafood. You yeah. can expect, I'm going to chop these shallots. Yeah, if you chop shallots, you can do that. And yeah. I've got some lovely squid, some clams, some, palud, uh, some uh, mussel, palud clams, red mullet, uh, scallops and shrimps. Beautiful, right. beautiful stuff. Uh, you know, as you, as you know, this is kind of uh, a bit of uh, history here because we had some uh, influence from uh, the Spanish and the Moorish. So that's why we've got this kind of uh, couscous Right. Stuff, but as I said, the difference is because it's tossed already. Okay, so we cut. Uh, so this roughly. is like couscous; it's manufactured yeah, grains. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the, yeah. the only difference is this tossed in the oven. So that's the difference with it. Okay, it's made with semolina flour. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, semolina is the same stuff, but it's finer, really. The semolina. Oh, okay. So you do gnocchi right. or stuff like that. So, like you say, it's made out of the flour there, but they yeah. just toast it off. That's where you yeah, get this. Yeah, yeah. So it's good when you do. Color. Yeah. Soup and stuff, it absorbs the flavour very well. But it's, it takes a little bit longer to cook than sort of uh, couscous, doesn't it? Oh, yes, couscous takes basically yeah. 30 minutes. That's why it takes about 8 minutes, um, okay. if not quicker. Okay, so I'm going to put some olive oil there. I'm going to put some yeah. of the squid here. Yeah. Okay. You want some onions in there as well? Yeah, some shallots will be good there. And I'm going to have some shallots here as well. So we're going to start to do the fregola here as well. All right. So, as I said, a fantastic dish of Sardinia. This is the only place actually in Italy where they serve this kind of. Uh, this kind of uh, semola, no one else in, uh, in south. There is a kind of uh, couscous also in Sicily, near right. Erice, very deep south, which they call cucciata. Very interesting thing. But they do serve like uh, a real couscous, because they do the fish soup, and right. then they serve the couscous next to it. But as well as each region's got their own pasta dishes, they've got yeah. their own types of pasta, aren't they, in different Oh, yeah, regions, yeah, yeah. different. As we've been doing the time before here, like uh, um, some caratelli or orecchiette, which is done with... The, Another semola, which is a rimacinato, okay? It's basically se between semola and semolina, okay? Again, finer, so very Spaghetti hoops, where do they come from? Well, spaghetti hoops, I don't know. <laughs> it's not an Italian thing. It's Lancashire. not an Italian thing, isn't it? Lancashire. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <A> Lancashire. <laughs> okay, I've got the fregola here, as you can see. We basically do like a bit of, uh, you know, a risotto style here, okay? Yeah. Then, uh, you know, they take a bit of flavor from the time here. I'm going to add some lovely... Francesco, white, did you white. Cook, Francesco, you know when you cook the risotto in a restaurant, we sometimes people blanch it, stop it, and do you, or do you no. cook that to order? Well, obviously you don't, but they. Uh, do but you people cook that does. To order? Because, do you cook that to order in the restaurant? We do cook from uh, by, by order, and it takes about 20 minutes. And of course, what we ask our beautiful, uh, uh, talented waiter is not to suggest as a starter because people tend not they don't really want to wait uh, 20 minutes for a starter. It wasn't very beautiful when I went there. Yeah? <laughs> he wasn't very beautiful when I was. No, exactly. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take over here, put the squid here. Right. Okay, then I'm going to put my sauce together, clams, it's beautiful very shrimps. It's rice, really. You yeah, can yeah, like yeah, yeah. Can you sorry. do in the meantime some herbs with the um, chopped with olive oil, garlic, okay. and a bit of uh, chili as well? Okay, yeah. and then my tomato paste here. Put a bit into it. Some tomato sauce. Okay. Yeah. Lovely smell here. So basically now the clams, the mussel, they're gonna open up. So you will have the juice absorbed from yeah. uh, from the flavor. This is when I think of it's. I think rustic. I mentioned that one. Yeah, this the is, lake this rustic. But this is the ideas for your new restaurant. This, this uh, yeah, but the, to be honest with you, this is one of the dish we go already at Celanima, but it's a bit finer. But I want my new uh, venture, which would be Lanima Cafe, a classic trattoria right. style of food. I mean, this should be very easy and uh, quick on the table, five, six minutes, and also not very expensive, okay? Yeah. So that's why we try to use as much as we can mm. stuff from uh, UK. I mean, you guys got some beautiful fish here. I don't know why sometimes people tend to buy from Italy or France when uh, the best of the seafood is well, around here. Well, it's ridiculous, because when you walk around a lot of the markets in Italy and Spain mm. and see all the longest team, it's all, all come out from, it's all from yeah. Scotland, yeah. most of it, yeah. But saying that, the clams we yeah. got here, palut clams, sound very French, but it's yeah. all from English cost. It's yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So was basically, in, we can I do was in Sardinia last year, all the, in the market, there was a lot of the fish that came out of England. Yeah. It was amazing. In but Sardinia. The, the price of, uh, of langoustine here is quite affordable, if you see. It's yeah. about 28, 24 pounds. In Milan, you can pay 80 pounds a kilo for, you know, yeah. some langoustine. Yeah. Unbelievable. And they're all from Dublin, by So... Yeah. And you cook right, that so down, right here. Francesco, you cook that down like a risotto, so you slowly add the stock. Slowly, slowly like. add the stock, because, you, you know, it basically gets the stock 
So as I, much ooh, it requires. When I was when I made it before, I did it actually on the show recently, years ago, and it was I boiled it first and then added it like a minestrone, so like. Well, you can also do that, but you, you know. did it wrong. But I, yeah, I think <laughs> so. I'm, I'm feeling awfully insecure right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. No, honestly, is uh, you know, yeah. it's pasta. He absorbs. There's a sink in the back there for your <laughs> for your hands. It's a pasta. He absorbs. Um, uh, yeah. The same. I mean, everyone thinks that it's easy to cook a plate of pasta. But when we do, for example, spaghetti vongole, what we do, we cook the pasta halfway in the water and the other halfway in the sauce. Yeah. So while it keeps cooking, it absorbs, sorry, it absorbs the flavors. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever listens to me on this. Those Italians, <laughs> you know? Okay. Those Italians. Yeah, right. All right, okay. So, just yeah, so when she's watching, he's washed his hands. <laughs> right. Remember, if you'd like to ask a question on the show, you can call this number. That's 0876 41 41 41. Calls from Emma cost 10p a minute for a BT line line. Mobiles and other networks may vary. And if you want to put your questions to us live a little later on. And don't forget, you find his recipe along with all the other studio recipes from today's show at bbc.co.uk forward slash So, we mix all together there. Right, herbs, you've got some dill, we've got some basil. Yeah, some tarragon. Uh, tarragon, which I love with fish. Yeah, and it some is chives fantastic. in there. And you want some lemon zest, yeah? Yep. <coughs> Bit of lemon zest. Yeah, please. Use a little lovely zinc. As you can see, it's, you know, it's nearly there. Just, you know, we've got to taste a bit. But, you know, as I said, we don't really add some more salt because uh, it's already uh, the flavour from. Oh, wow, that's good. The flavour from uh, clams and mussels that uh, they open up, they release the juice, and there's basically. It's basically pretty good. So that's yeah. like a gremolata at the end there, is it? Yeah, kind of gremolata at the yeah. end, yeah. yeah. But you know, the, the lemon gives a difference. The little bite from the... From the, the zinger, you want to call it, from the chilli. Lots of herbs together, so, you know, really... You want some lemon in it, uh, some yeah. uh, tomato in it, yeah? Yeah, some tomato is just at the end, okay. to refresh a bit, and then... we are going about to finish. Lovely. Beautiful red marin here. Mm. Nice scallops, shall I quite pink in the middle. Nice. Now, I missed the stock going in there. What was, yeah, which, we did what the was stock this? Here. Is that fish stock? Or fish stock, fish stock. We usually use a dress and we use like a. Yeah, you can go inside, thank you very much. We use a lobster or shrimp, bazaar shrimp stock. They've got a lovely red color. Right. But, you know. All right. So, this there. Now, we're going to add these beautiful herbs just at the end. So, that's got the lemon, Let olive me wash oil. my hand before I get some more yep. pulled off. All right. Okay. Mix together. Twist it around. Okay. Wow, lovely, simple seafood. That does look delicious, I have to say. Yeah. Get this one out. Okay, go, you know. And that's it, it's one shrimps. pot cooking, that's really. That's it, yeah. that's it, really. You know, this, this is what the greatest about Italian cuisine, don't yeah. get me wrong. It's just, you know, simple ingredients. Oh, you ain't seen the Lancashire hot pot yet. <laughs> <laughs> simple right? cuisine makes things. You know, <coughs> it's a lot cheaper than this and all. Nah, it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not expensive. I mean, it's all local produce, you know. Look at the Scottish squid. How beautiful. It looks like a lovely red mallet. Okay, fantastic. Scallops here, a little bit of... That's a healthy portion, that. Basil. Yeah, it's yeah. four of you there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, some olive oil, and uh, we've got a simple, rustic, sardinio, fregola, oh. seafood. How about that? How good is that? <laughs> Brilliant. To find some great wines to go with today's gorgeous dishes, I've come to Chichester. So I'm going to leave the cathedral behind me and start shopping. Francesco's Sardinian Fregola is beautiful, salt of the earth cooking. You can almost feel that southern Italian sea breeze on your face as you devour it. And because of all that tomato in the dish, you could go for a light red, but really, I think we need a white here for all that tangy, herbal, shellfish flavour. And one option is to stay local. There are lots of lovely southern Italian whites, like this beautiful Greco di Tufo. But I found a wine whose amazing value and just breathtaking quality is hard to ignore. It's the quite brilliant Pierre Blanc Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley in France. This isn't a cheap wine, but then neither is Sancerre or Puy Fumé. And that's how we have to think of this, because it's made from the same grape variety as those big names, which is Sauvignon Blanc. It's made in a similar area, in a very similar style. And it's amazing quality for the price tag. When you smell it, you get these wonderful aromas of tomato leaf and pressed herbs, which will work really well with the tomato, the dill, and the thyme in the dill. It's tangy and crunchy to work well with the shellfish, the squid and the lemon. And it's lovely and concentrated and complex to stand up to all those vibrant flavours in the dish and that little bit of heat from the chilli. 
So, Francesco, this may not be what you were expecting, but it's a princely wine at a bargain price to go with your delicious dish.